Welcome back. We've been working through a series of seven easy steps to get started in mobile data collection in Kobo Toolbox. And in this video, we're gonna be going over step five. Now, if you've been following along on YouTube, perfect. If you do want a certificate for taking this course, head over to the Humanitarian Data Academy. You can create an account for free there. So you can take this course for free here or for free there. But if you do it on the Humanitarian Data Academy, you get a certificate of achievement at the end. Um, so I can track your progress as you work through the videos um, and then give you that certificate at the end. So if that's important to you, you can share that uh, on LinkedIn or your CV or anything, um, then go do it there. Otherwise, keep on going here. Now, we've been working through these seven steps. We started with creating a username and password in Kobo Toolbox, setting up our first account. Then we installed the Kobo Collect app on your Android device. Then we set up the settings in Kobo Collect, okay? Then we've just created your very first questionnaire, okay? Now in this video, step five, we're gonna get that questionnaire in the Kobo Collect app, we're gonna fill it out and submit it, okay? So we're actually collecting data in this video. So you can see my phone on your screen and what I'm gonna do, we're, we're just back in that Kobo Collect app, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit start new form, right? We, we wanna collect data and we just created a form. If I hit start new form, there's no forms. Why is that, okay? I'm gonna hit the back button back to my home screen. And what you wanna do first is go to download form, okay? So if I hit download form, it's gonna to connect to the server. So you remember we created that questionnaire and then we deployed it. When we deployed it, it stuck it up there in the server. Now when we click download form, it's gonna say, oh, I'm gonna go look on that server. Great, so we can see first questionnaire and training XLS form for data entry. Now I'm not gonna take tick that one, we wanna focus on our first questionnaire. So I'm gonna untick that. And then I'm going to say get selected. So in the, in the bottom right hand corner, that blue button, get selected. All downloads succeeded, hit okay, and it will take me back to the home screen. Now, when you hit start new form, that big blue button, you can see first questionnaire is in them, is in there. So hit that and it's gonna start asking for data. Now, what you can see is because we turned all of those questions to mandatory responses, you remember we did that right at the end of the last video, you can see the little red asterisk there beside the question. It means I can't swipe forward, I can't click next. It forces me to put a response here, okay? And this is one step in getting really clean data sets at the end, okay? So I'm gonna enter my data, I'm gonna tap next. How many people are in your household? I'm gonna tap next. Again, I can't swipe forward, I'm trying to tap next. No, no, it won't work. I have to fill in that. What's your date of birth, okay? I wasn't born yesterday, but let's pretend, okay? So <laughs> there we go, now I can tap next or swipe forward. What's your displacement status? Uh, so let's do that. If I tap other and swipe next, please explain further your displacement status, right? I, tap, I can then swipe back and say, no, I'm a refugee. Swipe forward, that question isn't there. Okay, and here I'm gonna choose those three questions. Maybe I'll also choose other. Please explain your other household needs. Um, so, for uh, uh, mother mother, something like that, okay? And then I can click next. And I'm at the end of my first questionnaire. You can see that there are two options. One is save as draft, one is send, okay? Now, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Let's, I'll quickly show you a little nuance. If you save it as a draft, save as drafts, it'll take you back to the home screen and you can see in drafts, there is one, okay? This is a new feature. The draft list now shows validation errors. Okay, great. So it can, you can see that there are no errors. Okay, that's a new feature, perfect. So let's tap back on that first questionnaire. It takes you back there and say, ooh, those were all my questions. Those were all the answers, perfect, perfect. I just wanna go to the end. So I'm gonna say go to end and it will take me back to that screen we just saw and I'm gonna click send. Okay, now you can see it was very, very quickly in ready to send, but because I'm connected to Wi-Fi and in our uh, what was it? Step number three, we set up the settings and we said we want it to auto send when I'm connected to Wi-Fi. I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so it auto sent. And so you can see there's a number one beside sent. So if I go in there, I can see that my first questionnaire was sent on today's date and it was also deleted, okay? And remember that's because I auto deleted once it's sent. So I don't have any of my personal data, my date of birth, that kind of thing. It's not sitting on my phone anymore, okay? So we'll go back 
to our home screen, we've got sent, and that is how you get data up into the cloud server. Perfect. Now I'm gonna show you one other way to submit data uh, using the form, but not on your device. It's actually how to submit data using your browser. So you're in your Kobo Toolbox account on your browser now, okay? I'm back in my uh, computer, and I'm going to go into First Questionnaire, and I'm going to go to Form, okay? So this is the other way to submit data. If you come here, there are two buttons, okay? So you know this is where we hit the that Deploy button. Here there's a Copy button and an Open button. Now, if I click Open, it's actually going to open this questionnaire, the same questionnaire we just submitted data through our app, we see the same questionnaire here in the browser, okay? So I can actually submit data here in the browser as well, okay? New people, what's your date of birth? What's your displacement status? What are your needs? And I can submit. So that, okay, it's forcing me to log in. It needs to know who is submitting this data. Okay, so I'll put in my uh, login details. That's just a security feature, so not anyone can, uh, not just anyone can submit data. Okay, so that is how you submit data through the browser version. So if you want to copy that URL, go into an email and say, please fill in this form, and you can actually just email that form out to whoever you want to. Okay, you send that. And then if I'm the receiver of that, please fill in this form. I'll click that link and I'll see, I'll be able to see it from my email address. Great, so those are two quick ways that you can fill in data using your brand new form via both your app. Okay, so that would be great for mobile data collection. Once you hit download form, you download those forms to your phone where you can hit start new form and you've got the first questionnaire in there. That will now work whether you're connected to the internet or not. So if you've got people who work remotely out in a field somewhere, uh, you know, you could be doing forest data collection or in a humanitarian context where there is uh, limited connectivity, they've now got it on their phone, they can go out and collect data and collect data and collect data every time they wanna collect new data, come in to start new form, hit that questionnaire, collect new data, uh, submit. It'll just save it until it's connected to the internet and then once you're connected to Wi-Fi, it will auto send all of that data. So this is the magic of mobile data collection. Hope that was a useful video in getting the questionnaire in your app, filling it out, and being able to submit it back to the server, and also seeing how you can submit data through the browser. I will see you in the next video where we'll check out step six.